That's right. It's a Friday night in the fall, and there's football here at Five News. We call that Football Friday Night. Now we got the semantics out of the way. Let's get to all the week two action. Starts off down at Greenwood. They were supposed to play north side. COVID-19 changed those plans. They get another 7A opponent as Harbor comes into town. Early on, Drew McClendon hits Ethan Fender. He gets annihilated by Colin Daggett. Big tackle there, and it's LD Richmond. He hits Chase Sprozier, spins out of one tackle, spins out of another again goes down and uh, just set up this from the quarterback Richmond takes it in jump spin into the end zone seven nothing Greenwood now this time pass in the air Ooh, that's the wrong team interception Tatum Sadler he takes it back a good way still seven nothing Bulldogs and that ends up in another Greenwood touchdown this time LD Richmond looks deep finds Peyton Carter going down the sideline. It's a leaping catch right here. That's <laughs> called high pointing of football, folks. This time, the drive would end with the running back, Hunter Wilkinson. He takes it in for a touchdown. 21-0 Greenwood. This one just all Bulldogs, no Wildcats. Richmond hits Wilkinson. This time, he wouldn't quite get in the end zone. He gets to finish off the drive himself. It's 27-0 Greenwood at halftime. And then in the second half, Richmond again, this time to Luke Brewer. That makes it 33 to nothing, Greenwood. And yeah, this one would not end up well for Harbor. They go into Greenwood, and Chris Young starts off his tenure as Greenwood football coach. 2-0, gets his first home victory in this one.